Hey everybody, my name's Silver and welcome back for more anime reviews here on the channel. Real quick though, before we even begin with this episode, I guess I should go ahead and apologize because I told you guys in the last Boruto review that we did do on the channel, I did say that, oh hey, even though, you know, the Chocho arc that happened, you know, the little three episodes of all that ugly, disgusting BS, you know. I told you guys I was going to review it, and I ended up not doing that. So to make up for that, we're actually going to skip the Chocho arc, and we're going to skip the little filler episode afterwards as well. Both of those are filler, by the way. This one that we are doing today is kind of not filler. If you guys were just curious, the Chocho arc was literally just like Chocho trying to fall in love and trying to figure out who she really is you know like fat and skinny i'm not really sure like the significance of it but it was kind of boo boo all right the next one afterwards was literally just what's his name metal lee trying to get over his anxiety as he fought against uh rock lee and he even trained with mike guy in order to uh get the eight gates training started However, those are done and over. This is Boruto episode number 71. I understand I'm just a little bit late because 72 is the latest one that came out so far. However, this one does tie into 72. So we're going to review this one and the next episode. Or we're going to review this one and the next episode next episode you know so if you guys are hyped and ready for more boruto naruto next generation anime reviews here on the channel make sure to hit that like button for your boy as well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content and before we do begin if you guys do want me to review any other anime let me know in the comment section below and i might just get to that but either way let us begin okay so boruto episode number 71 it literally begins with team seven you know which is boruto sarada and mitsuki and team 10 or just chocho for right now the other members of team tim are going to come in later but they're all eating at you know the burger spot where everybody goes you know for some reason that burger spot is really good you know the burgers better be banging boy unless i was not be going there but mitsuki does not know really what to order so he's like hey yo boruto what are you gonna get because you know i mean if you get it i'm gonna get it and sorry is like oh hey mitsuki you know you're a really genuinely nice person and boruto's like bro have you ever thought about like rebelling you know and mitsuki's like what do you mean like rebel because, you know, it's Mitsuki. We all know who Mitsuki is. Mitsuki is the clone. If you guys do remember the flashback that actually happened at the beginning of this episode, I'm pretty sure it was Mitsuki Orochimaru and the other Mitsuki clone. I forgot his name, but they were talking when the whole flashback happened. And that's when he first got his sage mode and yada, yada, yada. But either way, Mitsuki never really did think about rebelling against his parent. Because, I mean, why should he, you know? Either way, though, Inoji and Shigeda, you know, the other members of Team 10 actually walk in there and Inojin has this little baby chick on his shoulder and he's kind of confused as to why he got so attached to him because in this last mission where they were helping out in the farm and he picked up the little baby egg and ended up hatching and what happened was imprinting. If you guys do not know what imprinting is, it basically, the baby chick imprinted Inojin as, you know, his parent. In other words, the first thing that you see when, or the first thing that it saw when it hatched out of his egg is his parent and you know the bond kind of starts and it goes off from there so mitsuki starts having a flashback because if you guys do remember mitsuki had his little mission with orochimaru to go grab the scroll he ended up getting the scroll and he left the area real quick he opened up the scroll and it was a picture of boruto uzumaki in other words basically saying oh hey this is your son you know well, not really your son but like you know like this is your light to, you know the little darkness that you kind of have inside of you so mitsuki's like was i imprinted you know with boruto you know basically saying like this is why i follow boruto around who freaking knows but either way team seven has to leave real early because of the fact that they're supposed to be helping out with the five kage summit because if you guys do remember the five kage summit was interrupted due to momoshiki's invasion you know shout out to momoshiki kinchiki and the other otsutsuki member who i really did forget about but either way every village is loki in chaos okay at the five kage summit I remember Gar talking about this, Naruto talking about this, and even the next Tsuchikage was talking about every village being in shambles. You know, Naruto was basically apologizing to why, oh, hey, you know, I'm sorry we did not have this summit earlier. I've been kind of backed up with the village, you know, you know, everything that happened, and everybody was like, oh, you know, it's perfectly fine. We've had the exact same thing. This is what I'm talking about by being, or at least by saying that, oh, hey, they're low key and chaos but with them trying to talk about all of the otsutsuki members because you know kinshiki and momoshiki are now presumed dead however there is one more 
Otsutsuki member left, and that's who Sasuke is actually following at this current point in time. We don't really get to see, you know, little scene of Sasuke, which kind of sucks. But either way, they were told, or what we know now is that, oh, hey, the other... The previous Kage, as a matter of fact, were actually now in this five Kage summit just to go ahead and, you know, be there to know they can go and show their support, you know, give them ideas and everything like that. Like, you literally get to see uh, Kakashi, you get to see A, you know, the previous Rai Kage, and I'm pretty sure it was the other Mitsu Kage as well, but they cannot find the Suchi Kage, you know, Onoki, you know, the old man who ended up fighting with Naruto and Gara back in the war against Madara, you know, apparently he's not gone, or he's not there, you know, he's gone, so Naruto's like, hey, yo, where's, you know, the third Suchi Kage at, and apparently they lost him when they were in the village, and I mean by they as in the, the now, I think she's the fourth Suchi Kage, I'm pretty sure, I don't know her name, I really don't, but it's like that, it's it's the girl with, you know, the black hair, I'm gonna just call it Tsuchikage, because hopefully you guys know exactly who I'm talking about, but either way, they lost him the moment they entered the village, basically saying, oh, hey, the third Tsuchikage, Onoki, you know, he is senile now, he kind of, like, lost his mind, and he's now lost in the village, so Naruto basically sends out an alert saying, oh, hey, the third Tsuchikage is lost, can I, I need y'all help to, you know, find him and bring him to, you know, the five Kage summit. So everybody's like, all right, we got this. Either way, though, we get a cut to Mitsuki, Boruto, and Sarada literally staring off, you know, they're kind of bored or whatever, because they're just supposed to be guarding the area because, you know, it's the five Kage summit. You know, you got to guard the area there. By the way, the five Kage summit is still held in the Leaf Village, so there's info for that. But either way, they start getting kind of bored so they start asking for stories you know Boruto asked Mitsuki if he has any stories for him and Mitsuki is just talking about what did he say I'm pretty sure he's talking about the flashback well he starts kind of like asking himself like why his thoughts are his own basically because you know he's talking about his parent but he doesn't really give him that much information he's kind of like I, I don't really know if you know my thoughts are my own or if I'm living in this giant genjutsu kind of like how the bird who was imprinted basically saying oh hey Inoji is you know the mother or the father he's kind of like oh hey you know maybe that bird's in some little genjutsu you know maybe I'm like that too with team seven and then Boruto's like come on dog I mean like you're not a baby chick and neither are we so there's no reason why that should happen and you know he starts to be like okay you know I guess so so he, he's kind of you know giving them how he feels but either way it's time for Boruto's turn, you know, to tell a story because that story was kind of trash. So, you know, he was like, well, what about you, Boruto? You got a story? And he's basically talking about when him and Naruto were next to the five Kage mountain. And he asked Boruto, oh, hey, what is the hardest rock in the world? And Boruto could never understand it. So either way, literally like right after that is when they get like, oh, they see a whole bunch of ninja gathered around this one spot so Mitsuki goes over there just to check it out and he comes back with a picture of the third Tsuchikage basically saying oh hey this is the third Tsuchikage he's missing let's go look for him so what they do is they literally track him down in the village and they see him and Boruto's like oh hey you know I'm gonna ask you about this question but the third Tsuchikage you know being senile being old you know being you know senior citizen is like hey yo bro why don't you just show me around the village first and then I got you me personally I didn't think he was just gonna tell him but hey he ended up keeping up his word later on but before we get all the way up to that point he the third Tsuchikage I mean after they went through a whole bunch of shopping and everything they went to like this little construction area just because they were walking and one of the cranes snapped and they had like this giant beam that was getting ready to fall on this kid but the third Tsuchikage saved them with his particle style jutsu and he kind of like hurt himself he looked he like passed out a little bit and when he woke up he saw his grandson's face his grandson's name is Kozuchi if you guys did not know that however he saw Kozuchi's face he started crying a little bit basically because you know Kozuchi died but Oh, hey, lo and behold, it was just him, you know, his mind playing tricks on him. And it was actually Boruto who was sitting there holding him. So they all talk. I forgot where exactly they were. If you guys are actually kept up with the Boruto, and then if you guys do remember the place where Shikadai and the other dude with the ice, Keke Genkai, used to play Shogi a lot, that's basically where they met up and everything like that. That's basically where they kind of woke him up, I guess you could say. But. The third Tsuchikage is like, oh, hey, thank you for taking me around the village, you know, for me being like a senior citizen, you know, thank you for following me. I'm going to go ahead and answer your question. 
So he brings out three pebbles. Okay, this is Boruto's question, by the way, for what is the hardest rock in the world or the universe. He brings out three pebbles, lays them down, and says, okay, pick which one of these are the hardest or is the hardest rock in the universe. Boruto picks up one, Sarda picks up one, Mitsuki is literally left with like the last one, so you would have thought that he would have picked it up, but he decided not to, okay? It turns out that the hardest rock in the world is actually the bedrock inside of you, and I'm gonna go deeper into that in a couple seconds, but Boruto and Sarada were wrong. You know, Mitsuki's sitting there like, oh, you know, I'm good. And that's when Onaki is like, oh, hey, you know, the hardest rock in the world is the bedrock inside of you. Basically saying that no matter what you go through, your bedrock, you know, it's not going to break, you know, because that's you. You know, that's your will. You know, that is not going to break. And that is the hardest rock in the world. Boruto obviously thinks it's a lame answer because, you know, it's Boruto. He runs off with Sarada or something like that. Then Mitsuki and Onoki are left. And the third Tsuchikage is like, hey, yo, I can see that your bedrock is kind of shaky. You know, you don't really know what's up with your will. Mitsuki's like, I don't really understand will. You know, how, how, like, what is will? How do I know if the will that I have is actually my own or not? If you guys do remember earlier, you know, about the imprinting thing with the baby chick and everything like that, with Mitsuki being a clone of Orochimaru, he doesn't really know if he's being told stuff to do, but this is how he actually feels. And the third Tsuchikage says, I mean, if you keep hitting a wall, you know, if you keep having problems and you keep clinging on to your will, then my nigga, like, it's yours. At that point in time, it's just yours. So everybody leaves. They take him back to the five Kage summit. It's kind of like late in the day. And Boruto's like, oh, you know, I, you know, it was a really good question. You know, he may have gave that quiz to my dad. But I don't really like the answer. And Mitsuki's like, hey, you know, I kind of liked it. Basically showing out, oh, hey, you know, Mitsuki, he actually learned something from his encounter with the third Tsuchikage. Either way, though, everybody goes back home. And my goodness, bro, this is where the episode ends off. Not really, like, at that point in time. But Mitsuki goes into his apartment. He lives by himself. You guys did not notice. He lives in, like, this very small-ass apartment. However, when he opened up the door... His window was open, there was some sand on the ground, and there was a, a letter on his bed. Basically saying, oh shit, somebody just broke into my house, left me something, and then dipped. So, Mitsuki ends up reading the letter, and he ends up burning it. And then the next scene that we do see is a lightning style jutsu that, re that resembles Mitsuki's lightning style attacks the hidden leaf gate and that's where they end off the episode of course episode 72 was already out so we do know what happened in that episode and as a matter of fact dog we might as well go over that as well i was only planning on doing episode 71 for this one but for the fact that we might as well go ahead and do episode 72 because i believe that this is the start of mitsuki's new arc this arc is not actually set in the manga or anything like that so i'm sorry if this episode is kind of long i'm gonna try and make this one a little bit short but either way let's continue with episode 72 right here right now do you guys remember before in the last episode episode 71 the episode kind of ended off with mitsuki attacking the hidden leaf gate the episode 72 starts off with more information we now know that three ninja attacked the hidden leaf gate it was two of them they were like wrapped up in some bandages or something like that and they kind of did knock out the hidden leaf village ninjas or they at least put them down and they were getting ready to kill them but mitsuki jumped out of nowhere and he knocked them unconscious mitsuki and everybody else leaves however he drops his headband we know that he drops his headband for the fact that the next scene is sai in the police force looking around the area and oh hey sai ends up finding the headband and you know that's some serious shit because it's a leaf headband and it's not any of the people's headbands who got attacked so boruto and sarda of course they were waiting because i'm pretty sure they had a mission that was actually canceled from kono hamaru because something urgent ended up coming up but as they're waiting for mitsuki they're like matter of fact let's go ahead and go to his house because maybe he's asleep because boruto's like yeah i know every single thing about mitsuki so sarda's like okay where does he live boruto doesn't know that crazy enough they look it up they go to his house his house his apartment, by the way, you know, the one that we literally talked about a couple seconds ago back in episode 71. It's small, it's dull, it's lot, it's not a lot of stuff in there. He has a whole bunch of pills and everything like that. They did not really find anything. Boruto never knew that Mitsuki lived like this. And it starts to, like, stick in his mind, okay? If you guys do remember back in old, old part one Naruto days, this kind of reminds us of uh, Sasuke 
leaving the village and Naruto sitting there kind of confused but this time other than Sakura sitting there crying about it you know we have Sakura actually doing something you know shout out to new team 7 but either way the episode does continue off with Boruto asking everybody oh hey do you guys know where Mitsuki is do you know where you know he always hangs out at yada 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 basically he literally asked like team 10 or like I'm pretty sure it was like another team as well but they're all confused because they're like I mean they're Mitsuki's supposed to be close to you Boruto so why are you asking us like shit you already know this and it kind of hits Boruto a little bit because he's like damn Mitsuki and I are really close they're damn near almost best friends as I don't really know if they are actually best friends or not because I'm pretty sure that title is taken by Shikadai but either way how do you not know where he's at you know he's a member of your team you know of team seven so either way they go to Konohamaru and you can tell that Konohamaru is kind of hiding something just by the fact that he's talking the way that he turned real fast something like that and you walk back into the Hokage's office and they know oh hey big bro Konohamaru he's hiding something so Boruto and Sarada, they end up like infiltrating the uh, Hokage's mansion, the Hokage's office, and they hide outside of the Hokage's office, literally like right under Naruto, while everybody else is talking, and by everybody else, I literally mean it's Naruto, Kakashi-sensei, Konohamaru, Sai, and Chikamaru, they're talking about the attack that happened in the village, and they're talking about, oh hey, there's a Leaf Village headband laying there, and one of our Genin is missing, in other words, Mitsuki. Boruto kind of gets a little bit scared because oh hey Tsunade is supposed to be there something like that and he moves a little bit and some birds start rustling Naruto kind of feels a presence and he's like hey yo who's there but saved by the door the door opens up and it's Tsunade so of course Boruto and Sarada they get saved then it goes to Tsunade coming back bro Tsunade oh my goodness bro Tsunade being back it's been such a long time since I've seen that woman I'm so sorry that I keep saying her name but either way, with them being gone, they go to medical, okay? Because the ninja who were attacked by Mitsuki and the two others, they're chilling in medical. Eno is sitting there, and Eno's like, okay, I can't go too deep into his memory, but what I can do is I can look at the top layer of his memory to see what happened before he was rendered unconscious so that's what they do she ends up seeing scenes of mitsuki attacking them she ends up seeing scenes of mitsuki leaving the leaf village by his own free will boruto and sarada of course are hiding in the vents so you know they hear everything and everybody's like what is so important about this mitsuki guy you know why are we spending like so much time on this and naruto and shikamaru get kind of pressed kakashi gets i guess like a little bit I'm not gonna say press, but a little bit like, oof, you know, like we should probably tell them this. And so he's like, hey, yo, Konohamaru, because Konohamaru does not know about this, even though, you know, he is the leader of Team 7 and he still does not know about this. And Tsunade is just coming back. So he's like, hey, yo, guys, there's something I guess I should tell you. Mitsuki is Orochimaru's son. This right here sets everything off because there's two elders there that, if you guys do remember, there's two elders that always were there in Shippuden and OG Naruto that always hung out with Donzo and the third Hokage, those two elders, they're like really old as hell. I was actually surprised that them niggas were still alive. But either way, they all get surprised because Mitsuki is Orochimaru's son. So why in the hell would you bring him in the village knowing that Orochimaru did all those things in the past and Tsunade is like, why would you bring him in here and he might, you know, cause Orochimaru to attack again or he might be, you know, Orochimaru's gateway back into the Leaf Village so he can keep doing this. But Orochimaru and Naruto are starting to build this little trust. Orochimaru, if you guys do remember back in the fourth Great Ninja War, we knew, oh, hey, my nigga wasn't going to do anything after he got revived after Sasuke and yada, yada, yada and all that other extra shit. So we kind of knew that he was good. However, everybody else is still kind of shaky. You know, they're kind of shaky about it. So, Boruto and Sarada hearing everything about Orochimaru. You guys do remember Sarada even met Orochimaru back when they were looking for Sakura. So, even she knows what type of person he is. But it kind of cuts to just Boruto and Sarada chilling by the lake and they start talking. Sarada's getting kind of confused because she's like, oh, hey, what if Mitsuki actually really did leave us? And Boruto doesn't want to believe that. Of course, Boruto wants to leave the Leaf Village to go look for him. So what he does is he kind of checks out the uh, the site where Mitsuki and everybody had the fight at the Hidden Leaf Gate. 
and he sees Mitsuki's snake. It's like a little like white snake. It's a little pet snake. I guess you can call it whatever. But it's being attacked by this little clay thing. Boruto ends up destroying the clay thing. He picks up Mitsuki's snake and the snake starts speaking out of like Mitsuki's voice or it has Mitsuki's voice and he's like, this is my will. Boruto gets ready to leave the leaf village. He does see Shikadai, however, basically Shikadai tells him, oh hey, I need you to know that the village just went to maximum level emergency security alert. Literally saying, if you leave the leaf village at this point in time, you are a deserter, you are a rogue ninja, and everybody will be on your ass. So do not leave the leaf village. That's the whole entire point of it being on maximum level security. However, we know Boruto. He's, he's Naruto's son. He's got to leave. So he starts to leave. He sees Sarada up there as well. So they have the little talk. And Boruto and Sarada end up coming to the conclusion that, oh, hey, we need to go to Orochimaru to talk about the snake because we have no idea what the hell it is. And they both leave the Hidden Leaf Village. Episode ends. It's nice, okay? It's nice. I understand that I just spoke a lot literally for the fact that we just did two episodes in one video i understand if this video is kind of long if so i'm very sorry about that however in the next episode we did kind of get a little bit of preview of boruto and sorry to still running them literally being at orochimaru's hideout and this is where boruto actually meets orochimaru for the first time i'm actually really hyped to see this because everything else before this was filler i'm not going to count this as filler because this is actually a really good story and if it is filler then it's still just like a better story than the others as well plus we never actually did get this in the manga so i'm hyped to see what they're going to do for episode 73 i'm actually going to go ahead and end off this episode right here this episode was really good i'm not going to lie to you guys that's why i did episode 71 and 72 at the exact same time or in the exact same video is for the fact that with the stuff with the hardest rock in the world of Mitsuki kind of feeling confused about himself to him leaving the leaf village and everybody being worried about him this is the beginning of Mitsuki's arc okay so again I'm sorry if this episode was kind of long if this video was kind of long I just wanted to get both of those things out the way real quick so I just didn't have to give you guys episode 71 and then 72 or I could just do them all together Either way though, I'ma go. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button for your boys. As well as consider subscribing to the channel for more anime game related content. If you did enjoy episode 71 and 72, let me know in the comment section below. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you didn't, or if you guys are hyped for episode 73, let me know how you feel about that one. But either way, my name's Silver. Have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you are. And I will see you all next time Rock your butt off.